In this video, we're going to focus on solving problems associated with Venn diagrams. So let's start with this one. All the students in a class were surveyed regarding what type of pet they own at home. 20 students said they own cats and 25 said they own dogs. Eight said they own both and 12 students said they own neither. Draw a Venn diagram. So I already have that on the board. An event diagram is basically two overlapping circles with data inside of it. So the first circle we're going to say represent the number of cats, or rather, the number of students who own cats. And for the second circle, this is going to represent the number of students who own dogs. Now, in this overlapping region, that represents the students who own both cats and dogs. And that was given to us in a problem. Eight students said they own both. So what that means is we can put eight in this region here. Now, what about part B? How many students own cats but no dogs? So how many students own cats only? We have a total of 20 students who own cats. So this includes the eight who own both. So to get those who own cats only, we need to subtract 20 by 8, and that's going to give us 12. So we have 12 students who own cats, 8 own cats and dogs, so we have a total of 20 students who own cats. Now what about part C? How many students own dogs but no cats? So we have a total of 25 students who own dogs, 8 own both cats and dogs, so the difference is 17. 17 students own dogs only, or dogs and no cats. Now, we have 12 students who own neither cats nor dogs, so we can put that on the outside of the Venn diagram. So now, how many students are in the class? How can we get the answer for part D? There's two ways we can do this. One is when we have the Venn diagram all filled out and completed. The other way involves getting the answer without using the Venn diagram with the information that we had in the beginning. So let's start with the first way. All we need to do is add up the four numbers that we have here. So we have 12 students who own cats only, 17 only own dogs, 8 own both, 12 own neither. 12 plus 17 is 29, 8 plus 12 is 20, 29 plus 20 is 49. So we have a total of 49 students who were surveyed in this class. And since all the students in the class were surveyed. There are 49 students in this class. Now, to do it the second way, without the Venn diagram, using the information that we started with, we're going to add up the number of students who own cats and dogs. So we have 20 students who own cats, 25 own dogs. But now, both of these numbers include the students who own cats and dogs. That is, the students who own both. And since we've counted it twice, we need to subtract it once because we only want to include this number once. So since we already included it twice in both of these numbers, we're going to subtract this by 8 once so that we've counted this quantity only one time. And then finally, we need to add the number of students who own neither, which is 12. So 20 plus 25 is 45. And then negative 8 plus 12, that's positive 4. And this will give us the same number of 49 students who are in this class. So those are two ways in which you can get the final answer if you have to get the total sum of everyone involved in a survey. Now let's work on a slightly different problem. In this problem, we're given the total number of students in the class. We didn't have that information in the last problem. 
However, in this problem, we don't know how many students are studying neither Spanish or French. In the last problem, we had the number of students who own neither dogs or cats. So that's the difference between these two problems. So go ahead and feel free to pause the video and try this uh, problem. So there are 40 students in a math class. Of these, 16 students are studying Spanish and 19 are studying French. Five students from this class are studying both Spanish and French. Part A, how many students are studying Spanish but not French? So let's put S for Spanish, F for French. Now the first thing I like to do, just like in the last problem, is I like to put the number of students who are studying in both categories, and that's five. So let's put that in the middle. So now how many students are studying Spanish but not French? So we have a total of 16 students who are studying Spanish. Five of them are studying both Spanish and French, so the difference will give us those who are studying only Spanish but not French, and that's going to be 11. Part B, how many students are studying French but not Spanish? So we have a total of 19 who are studying French, five are studying both, so only 14 are studying French but not Spanish. Now how do we find out in part C how many students in this math class are studying neither French or Spanish? So basically how can we find the number that belongs outside of the Venn diagram? Now remember how we got our total in the last problem. The total number of students this is the first method using the Venn diagram, is basically the sum of all of these numbers. So it's the 11 students studying Spanish only, plus the 14 students studying French but not Spanish, the five who are studying both, and the number who are studying neither, which is what we're looking for. So that's X. And we have the total, the total is we got 40 students in the class. So we have 40 is equal to 11 plus 14 plus 5 plus x. So now all we got to do is solve for x. So let's go ahead and combine like terms. 11 plus 14, that's going to be 25. And then 25 plus 5, that's 30. So I'm going to write that here. So we have 40 is equal to 30 plus x. Now we need to subtract both sides by 30. So we're going to have 40 minus 30 is equal to x and 40 minus 30 is 10. So we have 10 students who belong here who are studying neither French nor Spanish. So that's it for this problem. Now let's move on to the third problem. Out of a group of 100 college students, 40 said they own a car, and 25 said they own an SUV. 47 students said they own neither a car or SUV. So how many students own both a car and an SUV? Now let's recap what we've done so far. So in problem one, we needed to calculate the total number of students who own cats and dogs. In problem two, we didn't know the neither part. We didn't know the number of students who took neither Spanish or French. So that was the missing element. In problem three, the missing element is both. We don't know how many students own both a car and an SUV. And so those are the three types of variations that we can have with this two category Venn diagram problem. So how can we calculate the both part? It helps to write a formula. So let's put C for cars, S for SUV, B for both, so that's the number that goes in here, and N for neither. Now, using method two, to get the total, it would be 
all the students who own cars, which would be this entire circle, plus all the students who own SUVs, which would be this entire circle. But doing it this way, we counted this part twice, so we would have to subtract by B and then add N. So that would be method one. So it's C plus S minus B plus N. Method two to calculate the total would be the students who own cars only. That would be C minus B. C represents all the students who own cars. So if you subtract those who own both cars and SUVs, you get those who own cars only. Now to get those who own SUVs only, it's S minus B. So that would represent this part here. Now we need to add the middle part. So we would have plus B and then those who own neither plus N. But notice that the equation on the right simplifies to the equation on the left. If you cancel negative B and B, you get C plus S minus B plus N. So both equations lead to the same result. So let's go ahead and use this equation to calculate B. So the total number of students is 100 college students. Now we know that 40 said they own a car, 25 said they own an SUV. Our goal is to calculate B, and 47 said they own neither. So let's put this here, N is 47. So now let's do some algebra. Let's combine like terms. 40 plus 25, that's 65. And 65 plus 45, I mean, 65 plus 47, rather, uh, that is 112. So 112 minus what number is 100? B has to be 12. If you want to show your work, subtract both sides by 112. And you're going to get negative 12 is equal to negative B. Multiply both sides by negative 1, you get B is 12. So we have 12 students who own both a car and an SUV. So that's it for part A. Part B, how many students own a car but not an SUV? So this is going to be C minus B. We have 40 students who own a car minus both. That will give us 28 who own a car only. Now part C, how many students own an SUV but not a car? That's going to be S minus B. We have 25 who own an SUV minus the 12 who own both. So only 13 own an SUV only. Now to check your work, all four of these numbers must add up to the total. So if you add 28 plus 12, which is 40, plus 13, that's 53, plus 47, you get 100. And so that's it for this video. So now you know how to solve word problems that is associated with Venn diagrams involving two categories. Thanks for watching.